Hey guys, welcome to the next Smoke and Flame quick tip. Now this one's not the most uh, amazingly uh, cool subject, but uh, it's all about the group functionality inside of ConnectFX and how it can help you with trying out versions, um, also with Keen and even I guess from a, a, a look development uh, standpoint. So right now I'm just going to use a Keen, uh, Keen as an example, but again, um, you'll see how this can apply to a lot of other things. So I've just got this footage here, I'm just going to select it and go effects. Great connect effects and the first thing I'm going to do is just uh, pipe in a mux so I'm just going to select this guy shift alt and double click on the mux so that's piped in now and the way I'm going to approach this right now I'm just going to pull out a bunch of keys and uh, even grab the channel as well so I've got the three keys here and I'm just going to actually just shift kiss the mux so it's uh, connected in now the really cool thing about this is um, uh, if you come from Smoke before 2013, you remember the, uh, or even now, the, the desktop uh, axes keyer, which has all the guys that you can just toggle through. Um, this can kind of repeat that functionality to an extent. Um, so yeah, let's um, let's get started. So I'm going to make sure by control dragging that everything's selected on here. So I'm just going to control drag and then back click on the pen and do group. Now the first thing I want to do is um, double click on the uh, the group node and you'll see it brings up its UI down here. Now I don't want an icon, so the icon refers to this guy here which is our list. So you see if I, um, if I jump through all these guys here it's going to toggle quickly between, um, if I double click on this, all our nodes that exist in this group. So I'm just going to exit out of that and exit out of that again. Oh, exit out of connect effects. Okay, so now what I want to do is quickly just exit out of group. Sorry about that. Um, and just change this and I'm just going to go to uh, no preferences and exit out of the group and double click on it and I'm getting some bugs. Hang on a second. Oh, there we go. So right now it's on mux, which makes sense. Then that's a good thing to point out. So this will only display what's shown here in the list. So right now if I go back to list, I don't want that icon for mux to show up. So I'm just going to turn that off and you see it, it gets rid of the input there. Now. I do want that to be an actual input though, so I do have to leave that on, but I'll turn off the UI. So now that's the only input I can input into this uh, tool, which we can recycle and use later, which is actually a really good thing about it. So if I go down the list now, you see it's just the Kia channel, Kia YV, and the, the crazy long one that I'm not gonna bother to pronounce. Now again, if I turn, if I jump out, if I turn on the UI for Mux, it's gonna display in the list, but I, I'm not worried about that in this particular case. I'm just gonna turn off the UI, and again, it's not there. So if I go to uh, just F4, you see we can quickly, if I go to the channel key here and then just press F1, just drag selection F4, I can quickly kind of try light a key and I'm gonna go to the YV key here, press F1, drag through, quickly get a result and then go to this key here, F1, drag through here and you know see the result that I'm gonna get and you know I can grab tolerance and increase it and again, uh, just like the, the desktop uh, axes at the moment, you can just quickly trial through these and just kind of toggle through the list and kind of see which key is working for you, which is actually uh, qu quite a good uh, approach. And again, the beauty of uh, this, if I double click and go back to the list, if I turn off this uh, proxy and actually I'll leave collapsed off, um, because this is uh, set up so that the mux is always going to feed these guys, if I... Um, if I just select in here and press escape and just call this, you know, key or setup and just press return um, and then jump out of that and swipe to the left, I can just drag this down to my user bin and um, for the sake of this, if I just jump out and then remove the connect effects and just make a new fresh one um, and then again drag this guy out, because of the way this is set up, if I shift alt that in there, you see that, um, again, uh, if I go back into the group, because we pipe that up, the mux is always going to trickle this down. So you can use this for um, some very cool, quick, and uh, repeatable tools, which is really, really handy. Um, now, again, the other instance of this is, um, if I just pull back here, is if you were doing look development. So if I just press D and pull out a damage node and give it a second to update, and, you know, let's just grab a preset of drops and press F4. It's not liking it. I'll do something more obvious. There we go. So I'm going to do old sepia and shift alt, double click, and let's go to a really extreme again. So F1, F4, and again, if I control drag and just go to group um, and double click on it, 
um, again, you can just quickly trial these out. So it's good if you're having clone driven sessions and you're still doing your comping downstream, but you don't want to have to repipe the nodes to go, okay, I'd have to put a node here and then switch out the damage node. It all exists here and it's really easy to switch. And um, I really think it's a feature that a lot of people don't know about or don't really have never bothered to care about, but I really um, think it's a powerful feature and should be used um, and exploited. Now there are some gotchas with this um, technique. So if you have this selected, the usual, if you jump to the animation and press shift tab, you see nothing happens. Um, and again, it's based on, right now it's based on list and there's no keyframes that exist in this list. But if I go to the this key here and then go to animation shift tab, you see then it works the way it expects. So you need to make sure the channel that you want to expand is um, loaded in the list for the node uh, drop down there and then it will expand for shift tab. There's one other thing that um, is a little bit of a pet peeve of mine with this, uh, the group node, which I did, which I really do wish uh, existed, which um, is being able to group within group um, and toggle between. But from my knowledge, this doesn't work. So I'll give you an example. I'm just going to uh, copy this and paste it here and just uh, shift alt to kiss those in. And I'm just going to quickly ungroup. And I'm just going to, again, just change these holding down alt so it doesn't give me the prompt. So I'm going to change that to that one and then this one to this one. So now I'm going to control drag around that, back click and go group again. Now you'd think um, you'd be able to go, all right, I'm going to toggle between these two guys. So I'm going to add a mux here um, and then another mux here, another mux here and another mux here for these. Now I'll go control drag and back click and I'm going to go group. And if I look at this and then press F4, you see I've got my muxes that I can toggle between. So you can uh, toggle between looks, which is great, um, within the group. But if I um, if I ungroup this and throw these uh, muxes away and then just try and group by control dragging these nodes and then double click, you see there's no option to change the list, which I think is a real limitation. But again, you can always um, return to group or sorry, double click and you can go into each one. But Personally, I think you should have the option to be out here and um, not all the way out here, but out here and actually just toggle between the groups within the node. So, well, um, yeah, that's it for this uh, quick tip. I uh, really hope you guys find that useful. Uh, there's plenty more coming. Stay tuned for more.